All right, y'all. It's day 42. That's Super Bowl Sunday. But first, we plunge. <gasps> is it gonna be the 49ers or is it gonna be the Chiefs? I don't really know anything about this game, but I'm here for the atmosphere. I kind of want it to be the Chiefs, because there's a rumor that if the Chiefs win, Travis Kelsey is going to propose to Taylor, and I really don't have a lot of skin in that game, but I feel like that would just be a, an event, worldwide headline, a historic moment. That's the kind of day you would never be able to top as Travis Kelsey. All right, let's go. All right, keeping in theme with the cold, I'm gonna walk down to the coffee shop without a jumper on, and I'm gonna get an iced coffee. Whew. But at least I look like a ray of sunshine. I always laugh when I wear this beanie. People always look at me and must look like a lollipop or something. Oh yeah, I'll get a cold brew, thanks. God damn, that's a terrible coffee. This is how bad the exchange rate is at the moment. This coffee, which is about five bucks US, cost me nearly $9 Australian. Well, I'm gonna drink it because it costs that much money, but I'm not even a coffee snob. Everyone's saying Australians are coffee snobs, but I'm not a coffee snob. I'll drink whatever. But this is just atrocious. Emma's apparently made some nachos on this parasite cleanse, and she's insisted that we come and try it. I'm skeptical, but let's have a look. <laughs> Smells good. I'm having plant-based nachos. Plant-based nachos? Yeah, for the meat. Kidding. That's meat. I was going to say, <laughs> what kind of plant is that? It was made by plants originally, with all the grass I ate. <laughs> Could I get the right bite, you know? Oh, jalapeno. Jalapeno, yes. Well, look, I, I think it looks great, but I'm skeptical of the jalapeno, because I'm not really a pickles guy, but I'm going to do the whole thing, as the chef intended. <laughs> I'm tackle this. Mmm. Yum. Mmm. It's really good. Maybe I should go on a parasite cleanse. <laughs> well, I stand corrected. That was delicious. I actually sat there and ate the whole thing with them. <laughs> All right, there you go, Henry. And here is a location for some content. We've got Amy. Amy's back. I'm back. So the video is about to get much better. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else to film, thank God. Is this the best spot for a video, is it? Yeah. <laughs> so the idea is that we just stand there and look at the camera and do nothing. Just hanging out here, man. <laughs> Buy some drugs. <laughs> All right, we're off to our first Super Bowl party. Who are you going for? 49ers. I reckon the Chiefs will win, but I'm going for the 49ers. The Chiefs will win because it's Taylor Swift's world and they just live in it. Okay. Is that how you feel, Benedict? Yeah. <laughs> You'd be a bit silly to bet against Taylor Swift in this day and age. Don't know how she's going to make the ball just magically go across the line, but I feel like if no, anyone I mean, can, it's, it's her. It's a simulation and she's the main character. But I was the main character. <laughs> Whatever the score is at the end of each quarter, the last digit in the score, so let's say it's 10 to 3, I'll draw these random numbers, and wherever it lands, you can win $100, $100, $100, and $200. Okay. For a simple $5 wager. Wow. Wow. Lucky, are you in? What have I got here? Yeah, it's taking me quite some time. I was telling you that. Yeah. Where I would I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just filling in boxes. I'm good at coloring in. We bought the Australian currency now. There's a lot of people in the kitchen. Okay, here we go. Super Bowl 2024. Did you hide it? Oh, 
All right, I'm taking a little detour. It's really fun. I don't understand the game at all, but I need to get some more LaCroix. Just because I'm not drinking, and it's kind of tough when you're around an environment like this where everybody's having a good time with the booze. I'm just going through the LaCroix like, like they're going out of fashion. So I'm coming to the Walmart here to buy some more. It's kind of like a Kmart or a Target with a ginormous supermarket in it. Gosh, got some slim pickings here. My favorite country artist. Drive safe, my sweets. Oh no, fellas. <laughs> Did you guys get locked in here while all of the adults have their fun? Oh, come on. Come on, Bubbles, Birdie. You guys are okay. We, we, we still love you. This is what happens here, how close they get. This is a territory for me. I, I would kick a field goal. Gotcha. Go get it. Happy birthday, dear Courtney. Happy birthday to you. Hey, don't do the hip hip hoorays here. What you got, Usher? That's Alicia Keys! Woo! I'm about that. I guess Usher was getting a bit hot, hey. I thought that was gonna be fun. That's a wild time. <laughs> Well, it's about as close as it can get, and SF, and PB's got a real high stake in SF here. He's been waiting his entire life for them to win a Super Bowl, and they're this close. Let's go, Kelsey! Let's go! Oh! oh. 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 Remember that little square thing that we put some money on? I won it! I have no idea what I did, but I won. I love this sport all of a sudden. I'm sorry. Oh no! The Chiefs got it! Oh, we gotta watch this. Tell the game, man. <laughs> all right, guys, home again. That was a really fun evening. Uh, First Super Bowl, never seen that before, never been a part of it. The energy was great. I really enjoyed winning $150 for God knows what. I don't know how it worked, but I won and I'm happy. I feel kind of bad for PB. He's been waiting his entire life for San Francisco to win a Super Bowl. And this was as close as he could have come. He's a bit devastated, which is tough, but we all had a really great time. Ryan and Courtney are such wonderful hosts and it was just a great night all around. But that's me for the day, guys. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate it. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow.